Hello everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King coming to you with week 14 of college football. Also playoff uh, round one of what it really should be. Um, last week was tremendous. I nailed everything in college. Uh, I was 13-1 and one and I was 23-1, and one, but I didn't play all the picks like Penn State, Iowa State. Uh, just on and on every game I liked one uh, very rare moment but that's what happens I mean the picks you pick the games all with the same method the same handicapping the same stats and that's all you can do and then you just hope it goes the way it should aka pocket aces should win but they don't always so you make your picks Last week was just a case where everything everything won. Uh, the locks, I love my locks, Florida Atlantic and North Texas. Unbelievable, and they come in and they win fairly easy. North Texas was way ahead, and um, Florida Atlantic kind of had a lead and then just sat on it. I was a little surprised there, but anyway, you know, when you, when you can win with locks like that, it's just, it's a great, uh, great day. Um, this week, this really should be round one of the playoffs, and it should be the best two teams in each conference playing, not east and west and north and south or, you know, SEC east versus west or whatever it is. It should be top two teams, move on. This is first round of the playoffs, and that would really resolve a lot. It's such bullshit. Well, if Oklahoma loses to TCU, then TCU, we're going to screw you, and Oklahoma, you won't get in. And if Ohio State beats Wisconsin, then we'll let Alabama in because Ohio State, that doesn't mean anything. Wow, it's just stupid. Here you have seven conferences, that's 14 teams in the playoffs, playing their own conference. It's like the NFL where you win your division. And then you have a couple of wild cards. I can see Penn State, um, maybe Alabama's a wild card, maybe Notre Dame's a wild card. What if, uh, you know, because now let's say if USC beats Stanford, they get screwed. They're not in the playoffs. Same thing if Stanford wins, TCU wins, Ohio State wins, um, Wisconsin gets screwed. I mean, it's just, it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, so you have, you have 14 teams. Now you add a couple of wild cards. So you have maybe 16. You have your winners. There'd be seven winners. So you have three wild cards. Get you to 10, and then um, the top eight or the bottom eight play, and the top two get the buys, just like the NFL. You play that Christmas, so you'd actually have a larger viewing audience than people watching Arkansas State play Central Michigan. Nobody gives a shit. Why is it a bowl game? Wouldn't you rather see uh, a Clemson and a Wisconsin game? playoff game on Christmas uh, that week then you get to so there you you, you you delete the field down to four so it goes from eight to four I mean maybe you have ten with the two buys uh, I don't know so you have eight but anyway you have a couple of you have a couple of uh, wild cards let's say it's let's say it's Penn State and uh, Alabama this year uh, good teams that didn't win their division, but you can't count them bad. Um, so then you have seven winners, and I would include UCF and Boise in the playoff. I think that's ridiculous that it's Power 5, whatever the hell that means. Power 5, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. All these teams can beat everybody else, so don't kid you. So UCF it could easily beat 90% uh, of these teams. Uh, then you have... Um, so you get the first round in this week. Now you're down to seven teams plus the wild cards is ten. You have five games uh, Christmas weekend. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. You want to get to four. You want to get four games down to two, so five wouldn't work. But somehow you get it from ten. Just like the NFL is where I'm going after it. So you have the top eight play and then the wild cards come in the next round uh, New Year's and then you have your final the week after so you want two games New Year's Day and you want four games 
Christmas, so you go from eight to four to two. Um, maybe the wild cards play the week before Christmas or something like that. Uh, anyway, but this way it's a real playoff. Now it's a joke, four teams. I mean, it's basically marketing. Oh, let's see, Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, and who else has oh, Oklahoma? Let's just make them our playoff. It's, it's so stupid. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to have a bowl package out, $100 for all the bowl picks through the playoffs. Um, so you can buy that. You can buy that anytime. Uh, I still have those monthlies, 250 for the month of December. Um, I'll have a playoff package like I did last year, 100 bucks for all the pro playoff games through the Super Bowl. So that's like four weeks. So uh, keep that going. Um, like I said, the locks did well. Really, the locks have done well all year. It's just one team's been screwing it up. Um, but again, like I play my locks in several other games, uh, aka uh, Florida Atlantic. I played with the U.S. The UCF South Florida over, so it's not a lock, but it's the lock. You know, Florida Atlantic was a lock, so you play it multiple times. That's really the way you play teasers. You don't bet the same amount on every teaser. You'll never win because the juice will get you. So what you do is you find your stronger teams, and that's what you play. And, you know, you, you try to win them all, but they don't all win. But that's that's gambling, right? Uh, so let's give you two games here in college. Um, Georgia and Auburn. Uh, Auburn's laying two to Georgia. Um, I like Georgia this week for the simple fact that Auburn's going to be flat. You can't beat Alabama and just play the next game like nothing. Secondly, you got revenge for Georgia. Georgia's a very good team. I, I look at this game dead even. And usually in dead even games, I like to take the dog. I had Auburn against Georgia. I had Auburn last week against Alabama. And again, Auburn was the home dog. So that was a very you know easy pick last week. Um, this week, though, I can't play Auburn as the favorite. The game's in Georgia, not necessarily at the University of Georgia, but in the Georgia Dome. So they'll be the home team, Georgia. They got revenge. They want to get back. Their best running back on Auburn got hurt. He hurt his shoulder. He just went down on the play. He reaches out, and he just goes down. He's holding his shoulder. Okay, he's listed as probably he's going to play. He ain't playing the whole game. This guy's injured. He's a great running back, but he's injured. And he's not better than the Georgia running backs. So I look at I look at um, I look at this as take the points. I think Georgia wins straight out at home, and Auburn's going to be flat after Alabama. You just can't get up after that game. I mean, there's just there's no freaking way that Auburn can beat Georgia, get up, then play a high school team, and then come back and play Alabama, and then you're asking them the next week. After you just played Alabama, they don't give them a week off, which is really strange. And they got to go and get sky high for this. So I just don't understand it. Um, so I like Georgia and the eight. Uh, I think it'll be a close game. I, I Who knows about low scoring anymore? These teams get rolling with the emotion, and all of a sudden they score 50 points. You don't think so. You think it should be a similar score to the Alabama-Auburn game. Uh, they'll be a little tight, a little more running. I do like Stidman, the quarterback on Auburn. I think he's from Baylor or Texas Tech. He's a very good quarterback. Um, that's Auburn's only chance, but I don't see Auburn. They will not blow out Georgia in this game. Let's take Georgia plus the eight. Game two, Boise, nine over Fresno State or ten, somewhere in that neighborhood. Fresno State, 11-0 and versus the numbers this year. Boise is a bet against home favorite. 16 and 1. That means at home they suck. They don't win that much and they don't cover. Fresno State, I love their defense. They went on the road and beat a very good San Diego State team, which really shocked the hell out of me. But I know Ted Ford he used to coach Cal and he was a great dog at Cal. You could see him coming up. All of a sudden they were winning all their games as the dog. 
Then they got good, but they couldn't win as the favorite. They have a hard time. Here you're getting them plus nine. Fresno State in 15. They just beat Boise, so they know how to beat them. Boise's not that good. Fresno State's very good. This spread is way, way too high. This spread should be three points at the most. Uh, I'm not sure Boise should be favored in the game. Fresno State is the better team with the better defense, the better coach, the better quarterback. Um, so here you take the 15. It's a conference title game, so there's something on it. But Boise's not Boise. They're not the team that beat Oklahoma. They're not the team that beat Oregon. They don't have the coach. They don't have the players. They don't have Kellen Moore there. No, this this Boise, the quarterback's weak. The defense is okay. But Fresno State's the better team here getting points. You get Fresno in 15. Oh, my God. So take Fresno, plus 15. Take uh, Georgia, plus 8. And, um, you know, there you go. You got two very strong dogs. That'll probably win. Like I said, Auburn will be flat after playing Alabama. Uh, also, I think in the Ohio State-Wisconsin game, I think Ohio State will be a little flat after playing Michigan. I'm not really impressed with Ohio State. All their big games they lost, Iowa, Oklahoma, and uh, Michigan. They barely won, and Michigan's terrible with that quarterback, uh, O'Corn. I, I, I watched him at Houston. He didn't look that bad. This guy's terrible. So, I mean, Ohio State really didn't impress me. The win over Michigan State, you know, it was a good win. The win against Penn State is basically the refs handed them the game, and the refs do that a lot in Columbus because half the refs are from Ohio and Columbus, and they let them rough the game. It's just it's madness. Uh, game in Indy. Wisconsin's a very strong road dog here, so uh, I think Wisconsin is going to win this game. Uh, they're out to prove that, hey, we're not lucky. I don't like Horningbrook. I think he's a terrible quarterback. Um, but I do like their defense, and I think they'll hold Ohio State down, and I think it'll be a very close game, so I like the points, basically. So there you go. It's doggy weekend. Uh, I hope to repeat what I did last week. Uh, just unbelievable. 13-1 and in college, 23-1 and with all my picks, but, you know, you can't play 24 games. Although I did when I was a kid, uh, in the 70s, I played 23 teasers on Rivalry Weekend when it was actually Rivalry Weekend. Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, Washington State, all those teams. I took the dog in every rivalry game, and I won 23 out of 24. Unbelievable. That, that's when it was, it was probably 78 or 79, uh, 1978 or 9. And next thing I know, I, my bookie's like, you know, our phone's being bugged by the FBI. I, I'm not going to book anymore, and that was it. I just laughed my ass off. So instead of taking my, instead of realizing I can pick and take my picks and betting them, you know, you win too much. I don't want you. So that that's that was pretty funny. But anyway, that's uh, that's what happens. So you get on a roll. Uh, should be a really good week in the pros in college. Like I said. Um, I'll keep the special if anybody wants all the games for 100. I have no issue with that. Like I said, the monthly uh, 250 for the month of November or December. Uh, now, if you buy that, you'll get all the bowls and all the pros all the way down, and you get the pros where you know New England needs the game for the one seed, and Pittsburgh needs the game for the one seed. And they're going after one and two seeds in, in the division. Uh, so it's, you know, a lot of good games to bet in, in December. Uh, much like November had their, you know, teams like Wisconsin needing to win last week and all that. Um, so that's what I have. So basically, again, there'll be a bowl package, 100 bucks for all the bowl games and the playoffs. Uh, and, you know, or you can just buy it weekly. Uh, I'll be happy to do 100 you buy 100, I'll give you the college games. Just buy the Pro 100 and you'll get all the college games. This should be a very good week in the pros. I got about six or seven very strong picks. And in college, I just gave you three. And then there's uh, three or four more that are very strong. And I have one lock going in the pros. Uh, I do have one lock I just posted. 
thought about it and I said, yeah, this this should this should be a good winner. Um, you know, so if everything goes according to plan, it should win. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't. But hopefully, it will. It's a good. It's a real strong pick. So anyway, www.teaserking.com. Good luck. If you have questions or comments, please uh, send me an email. Please do not send negative comments. I will not read them. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend, and good luck to you.